Hello, second grade. This is module two, lesson one. And our objective for this lesson is I can connect measurement with physical units by using multiple copies of the same physical unit unit to measure. Okay, so we're going to start this lesson out by counting. We're going to start at 20. And when you see this arrow, you're going to continue to count, but counting backwards from the previous number. And when you see this arrow, you're going to continue counting forward from that previous number. So make sure you're paying it close attention because this might get a little tricky. Okay, so pay close attention. Here we go. We're again, we're starting at 20. 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, there's our arrow. So now we need to count backwards from 23. So 22, 21, 20, but there's another arrow, so we need to count forwards from 20 now. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, oh, there's an arrow. Now we need to count backwards from 25. I'm going to let you continue on doing this on your own. So go ahead and count, and remember, uh, when you see an arrow, you need to switch directions. So we need to count backwards now from 25. That was a lot of counting. You did an excellent job with reversing when the arrows t came up. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to practice our numbers, saying our numbers two more. So for every number I say, you will say the number that is two more than that number. So if I say two, you're going to tell me what number is two more then two. Did you say four? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Okay, so here's your next one. Two more than three is five. Good. Two more than six. Eight. Two more than eight. Ten. Two more than nine. 11. Uh-oh, we're getting a little trickier now. We're getting into the bigger numbers. Two more than 18. 20. Two more than 38. Two more than 79. Two more than 19. Two more than 29. Two more than 39. Two more than 58. Good job counting two more. Here is our application problem. And we have a word problem here. And remember, our application problems, you can solve however you feel comfortable. So whatever strategy we have learned so far, 
you may use to solve these word problems, these application problems. So first we need to read what our word problem says, and then we need to figure out how we're going to solve it. Are we going to add? Are we going to subtract? How are we going to solve this? So first, let's read it. It says Vincent counts 30 dimes and 87 pennies in a bowl. How many more pennies than dimes are in the bowl? So go ahead, push pause, and solve this on your own. And then when you're done solving, push play, and we'll compare what you got and what I got. Okay, so you should be done solving now. And there are two ways actually you could have solved this. You could have first done it by subtracting 87 minus 30 to come up with the answer. So I came up with 7 or 87 minus 30 equals 57. If that's what you came up with, Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Now there's another way you could have done this too. You could have said 30 plus a mystery number equals 87. What was that mystery number? Did you put it as 57? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, so now we're going to get into our measurement. I have a crown box and I have a handful of centimeter cubes. I need to measure this crown box. How could I measure this crown box if I only have centimeter cubes? Could I use the centimeter cubes to measure this box? Yeah, I could. So I lined up my centimeter cubes here. And I have, I did it two different ways. So I lined it up this way, and I lined them up this way. So let's count how many centimeter cubes I have underneath this first box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight under this box, and let's count how many I have underneath the other box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. How come if my centimeter cubes are the same size and my crown boxes are the same size, how come I have eight under this one and ten under this one? Think about that for a minute. Did you say it's because I don't have all of these pushed together? You are absolutely correct. When I'm measuring, I need to make sure all of my centimeter cubes are pushed together like this. I don't want to have gaps between my centimeter cubes. If I do that, it's not going to be an accurate measurement. So I need to make sure that when I'm measuring, all of my centimeter cubes are going to be pushed together like this. So make sure that when you're measuring, that's how you do it. Take a look at it. Okay, so now I have this colored pencil. And I'm going to see how long it is with my centimeter cubes. So let's count how many centimeter cubes I have. First, I lined up my centimeter cubes. Um, with the end of my colored pencil here. And let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if I just put 8, it's not quite to the end. So I add this one more 9 here. And even though it goes a little bit past, that's okay because if I say it's eight centimeter cubes long, it's not going to be enough because it still, it still goes longer than the eight centimeter cube. So I can say that this 
colored pencil is about nine centimeter cubed long. So you're going to round up if the if your object goes over a centimeter cubed, even if it doesn't go. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. I have I now have some scissors that I need to measure. <coughs> so I put my centimeter cubes at the end of my scissors here, and I'm going to count how many centimeter cubes centimeter cubes long these scissors are. Here we go: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. So I can say that these scissors are 16 centimeter cubes long. Next, I have this pen that I need to measure. So I lined up the end of my centimeter cubes with the end of the pen. And if you notice, my this last centimeter cube goes a little bit further than the end. But remember, that's okay. We've got to have that last one there because this one won't quite cut it. So let's count how many centimeter cubes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can say that this pen is about six centimeter cubes long. Now I have this toy car. This is Trey's toy car. So I'm going to measure how long his toy car is. Now remember, you line it up with the end of the toy car and again, it's only about half of this one, but we're estimating, we're rounding up because we want to make sure we have enough centimeter cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine centimeter cubes, or this toy car is about nine centimeter cubes long. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to measure is this water bottle. And I had to turn it on its side because um, I'm laying these out. So I had to turn it over on its side. So let's count how many centimeter cubes long this water bottle is. And again, I lined up the end of my centimeter cubes with the end of the bottle. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19 centimeter cubes long. All right, here's my next thing. I've got Poppy here, and I turned her over onto her side. Now remember, Poppy's got this long hair, so we want to we want to make sure we include that. So I lined up my centimeter cubes with the end of Poppy's hair here, and <clears throat> if you see, her feet kind of go. Now, go quite to the end of this one, but remember, we're saying that if it's about how long it is. Because if we don't get this last one in, it'll be too short. So let's count how many centimeter cubes long Poppy is. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 centimeter cubes long. Poppy is 14 centimeters cubes long. Okay, friends. It is now time to see what you guys know. So here is your exit ticket. You're going to make sure your board or your um, desk is all erased and cleared off. And you're going to answer this question here and seesaw it to your teacher. So it says Sarah lined up her centimeter cubes to find the length of the picture of the paintbrush. Centimeter or sorry 
Sarah thinks the picture of the paintbrush is five centimeter cubes long. Now you're going to tell me, is she correct? Yes or no? No. And you're going to tell me why she's correct or why she's not correct. So go ahead and complete that. You're going to just, you don't have to write any of this or draw the, the brush or anything like that. You're just going to say yes or no and then write why you said yes or why you said no. Then take a picture and send it to your teacher. Good luck.